So this video, we're going to be talking about validation and spring in VC. And luckily for us, validation is going to be easy in spring in VC because spring in VC is going to provide us with all types of great annotations and built in code so that we don't have to write very custom logic to handle all of the validation for our form. All of these annotation come in different forms and different code come in different forms. And the first one is going to be, how do we actually choose which fields in our model to put these annotations on? We could place these actual annotations directly in our database model, but that would definitely be a code smell. So we definitely want to put all of our annotations within a DTO. Remember to always put all of your annotations within a DTO, otherwise you could end up with a mess. Also, you have to be able to recognize which type of annotation that you need and just place them on the model. So if you have a field that you want to be not null, just put them on the actual field. And in this case, I have the not empty and I do not want this field to be empty. So I place the appropriate annotation on it and you've got ones for email, you've got min and max, you've got all different types of annotations. It's best just to look over them and see if there's a specific one that applies to your situation. So then we've got our model all annotated up and we're looking good. What we want to do next is we want to add this valid keyword to our controller. So if we go ahead and we add all these annotations, they won't work unless we add this valid annotation to our folder. So make sure that you also add the valid and you also add the binding result. The valid is what is going to actually trigger these annotations to start working. And the binding result is what's going to actually do the validation. So if binding result detects that there is a validation issue, what it will return is this has errors. This will return true and you can redirect the user back to the HTML and have the actual error shown in this part of the HTML right here, where we have actual code that is provided to us by spring MVC fields dot has errors and this will light up and it will show you the exact validation that went wrong and where you need to actually input on the form. So let's go ahead. We already know a good summary about how all this works. Let's actually go in and implement it. So the first thing that I need to do is I actually need to bring in a package to do all of this validation. And I am just going to copy and paste from the spring MVC validation website and I am going to bring in this dependency called spring starter validation. So I'm gonna go down into here and I'm going to just type in spring starter validation. You can go to my GitHub and copy this, or you could just find, easily find this on Google, or you could just type it out if you want to, you could do any of those. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead, set up my validation. I'm gonna refresh Maven to make sure that I have this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into my club DTO and start putting my annotations on because now I have access to them because I have this dependency installed. So I'm gonna go not empty. And this is going to provide a message when it is empty that will say club title should not be empty, should not be empty. Okay, and then I'm going to go into here and this is it. Okay, so this is the title. Next, I'm gonna do this with the photo URL. I'm gonna say photo link should not be empty. And then I'm going to go to the content and I'm going to do the exact same thing. We need all of these to be in here. So content should not be empty. So just go to here and I'll say content should not be empty. That looks good so far. We could probably add more if we wanted to, but I think that that looks good. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to actually add this valid to the club DTO. And this is going to make it so that whenever we actually post data, it is going to check it and make sure that it is okay. So we have our edits looking good. Now we need to check if it has errors. So first, we just go into here. Oh, also we need to add a binding result. So I'm just gonna go down here. This is looking a little unwieldy and I'm going to also add the binding result. 
to this as well too. So I'm gonna go binding result and I'm just gonna call this result. Okay, and then we can go ahead and do our check. So we can go result dot has errors. So if there are errors, what we are going to do is we are going to return to the clubs create or clubs edit. So we will go back to the clubs dot edit. Okay, so let's go ahead into our actual edit file. What we need to do is we need to go down below the input. <clears throat> we are going to add a P right here. So we'll go TH if, and we will say dollar sign and we will have fields. So we'll have fields dot has errors and we will check the title. So if the title has errors, we want to show this and we will go into here and we'll say class text danger. And we'll also have TH errors. And this will also show the errors that are in our actual title. So we'll go here. We will have parentheses. We'll have a star. Then we'll have title right here. Then go ahead, close this out. That looks good. Let's go ahead and copy and paste these all the way down. So we'll go here, go past our photo URL, and we'll go to our content. And then we just need to fix these. So we'll go photo, photo URL. And then we'll do the exact same thing. We'll say photo URL and then same thing up here. We'll go content and then content. So we'll say content and then we'll also put content right here. Okay, so let's boot this up and see what we have. Okay, so boot it up good. We're gonna go ahead and go to our edit and I'm just going to delete the title just to see if this, okay. So club title should not be empty. Let's go ahead, test our photo URL. Photo link should not be empty, test. So let's go ahead, see if we can, we're gonna redo this this and I'm just going to make sure that the edit is still working so we'll go edit to I'm not going to change the photo URL because that's going to break the photo and I'm just going to just leave this one the way that it is so we'll go here and looks like we've passed we've got an edit too so we've got our actual validations done for our edit let's also finish the validations for our create so technically you don't have to finish the validations for the create I am just going to do it because I think it's going to make our code look really good and we need validation on the create because create is one of those endpoints that people will abuse. People will, if you create an actual app, people will fill out your app with bogus information. They won't fill it out correctly. And if you want to impress employers, I would highly suggest going back and correcting this because it is really important to have that validation on the create. So I'm just gonna go back into here. We have a non-DTO. And as I mentioned before, we want to actually have a DTO to do our validations. And that's what I'm going to do. So I've got, I'm going to have to go back into the save club and we're just going to have to make this a DTO and we're just going to have to change it, but it will be a very quick change. So we're going to pass in the save club. So we'll have a club DTO. We'll have a DTO right here. And we actually need to pass in a club. So we're going to turn this, we're going to map this to a club. So we're going to say map to club and we are going to pass in a DTO and we will say club, club is equal to map.club and that should do it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go back to our controller and we need to add the valid to the actual DTO that we have right here. So we have our post right here and we're going to make sure that this is valid. That looks good. And we also need to add our HTML that we had from the edit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this title here. I'm gonna copy and paste this from the edit page. I'm gonna go to the create page and just copy and paste all of these down and just change them over to the appropriate model field. So I'm going to go into here. So title's already okay. That one looks good. The next we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have photo URL. We'll have photo URL right here as well too. And we will also have content. So we'll have content and we will also have content right here. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to have an if else statement. So we've already got the valid. Now we need an actual if else statement to be able to handle the error. So if I pass into this post endpoint and it does not handle it actually, what is going to happen is we're going to need a model state. So I'm gonna go up to here, give this a, a binding result. 
And then I'm also going to have the model right here. So I'm going to have model, I'm going to have model. Then I will go up to here and I'm gonna have an if else statement that's going to check for if result dot has errors. And if if result has errors, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the model attribute and send it back to the club page. So I'll go model dot add attribute and I'm going to add the club and I'll also add just the actual club DTO. So I'll pass in the club DTO. Here I will pass in the return to club create. So we'll have clubs.create. And if it does not handle it correctly, it's going to pass it back to the clubs.create and it's not actually going to create it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run this and we will see what happens. So we're in our web page right now. I'm going to go to create club and I'm going to test everything empty just to see what happens. So I'm going to go here. Club title should not be empty. So I will call this one, give it Charlotte running club. So we'll say Charlotte running club. Then I'm going to give it a random person running JPEG. So, so I'm going to go into here. I'm going to copy this address in from image.freepick. I don't know exactly what any of this is, but I'm just going to uh, put some test content into here as well too. So I'll say test content, go create. And we've got our Charlotte running club too. We have made our validation work for both our create and our update endpoints. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smack that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.